What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today with a very exciting video for you guys and today we're talking about the iOS 26 battery life that I've had on my iPhone Air. Now this will really apply to any iPhones that you have but specifically with the iPhone Air, which by the way I'm rocking the official Apple bumper if anybody's interested. With the iPhone Air the battery life is a huge concern for a lot of people because it is so thin and has such a small battery and in my experience anyway, since I've been utilizing this device, it has been a bit of a challenge to get the battery life to be exactly where I need it on a daily basis. Now, that being said, there are five things that you can do to make your battery life better on your iOS 26 device and will work for any iPhone. So let's take a look at those today. The very first thing you can do, of course, is adjust your brightness. Now you probably know here in your control center, if you long press here, you can adjust the brightness up or down. There's also a couple other things in here. So obviously the lower your brightness, then the better your battery life will be. If you're using auto brightness though, that can also give you either better or worse battery life depending on how it is that you utilize the auto brightness. So if you go into settings, uh, let's go back to the main settings page. If you go to accessibility, you'll find auto brightness under display and text size. And right down here is where you'll see it, auto brightness. So you guys see right there, the auto brightness toggle. You can toggle this on and you will get brightness that adjusts to the conditions. But you can actually see here that when I turned it on, it actually made my display slightly brighter because we're under my bright studio lights. So if your ambient lighting requires that you end up getting higher brightness when you turn auto brightness on, it's actually gonna drive your battery life down. So if you keep your brightness below kind of that average, it can actually help to turn auto brightness off and then dial it down manually up here in the control center, which I just showed you guys. Now also if you long press here, you could also turn dark mode on and turning dark mode on will also extend your battery life because of course it won't be lighting up as many of those pixels. You will have better battery life in general if you also use a dark wallpaper, which you guys can see that I'm doing in my video. In fact, if you use an all black wallpaper, that'll make it even easier to use and give you even better battery life at the end of the day. Up next, let's talk about the background app refresh setting. If you go into your settings and let's go back to general here, go into the general settings, you'll see an option if you scroll down right under autofill and passwords called background app refresh. Now on background app refresh, what this does is as soon as you leave an app, it's going to keep that app open a while to get additional information send notifications, things like that, especially with social media apps, this can drain a lot of your battery. So if you don't want those notifications in real time and all that background data, you could go in and turn this off for applications where you don't feel like you really need that information. So there might be quite a few where you don't need it, you can turn that off. And then in addition, up here at the top, you can see you can also have background app refresh only on Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular. Now, if you only have it on Wi-Fi, this will also give you better battery life because on cellular, I can tell you specifically with the iPhone Air, it tends to get the hottest when you're out on 5G or 4G LTE because of the modem and just because of the thermals and being so thin. If you use it on Wi-Fi, the battery life is actually pretty good. So turning this to Wi-Fi only, especially on the iPhone Air, might make a big difference, but definitely turning off all these apps where you don't need the background app refresh will help you get better battery life on any of your iPhones. Let's now talk about auto lock. If we go into the main settings and go to display and brightness, if you scroll down, you'll find auto lock and raise to wake. So both of these settings are important because auto lock is how long it takes after a amount of inactivity for your phone to lock. The longer you have this set to, I have it set to four minutes because I use it to make videos and I don't want it locking while I'm talking like this. But if you set it to something like one minute, 30 seconds, two minutes, this is gonna be a lot better than having one of these later ones. And you definitely don't wanna set it to never because technically if you leave your screen on, forget about it, it's gonna leave it on that screen forever and then it's gonna drain all your battery life. The other one, which is raised to wake, if you don't like this setting, you can turn the setting off and it will save quite a bit of battery life because then when you wake, you know, raise your phone up, it wakes it so you can see your notifications and that does drain some battery life every time. Obviously the always on display, if you keep this on, it will drain your battery as well. So if that's something you use and you find you have bad battery life, if you can live without it, you can turn it off. But it is a great feature to have, so I don't tell people to turn this off if it's something they enjoy, but it does make an impact on battery life and can save you some additional percentage if you need that. Up next, let's talk about notifications in general. Not every single app needs to send you every notification. So if you go back to your main settings page, you can actually go in here and dial in 
which of these applications you need the notifications from and how you want them. So if you go into notifications, you have all these various things like previews, Siri suggestions, summarize notifications. But down here with notification style, you have all of your applications and then you have various settings inside here. So if you go in here, you can see you can turn things on or off like announce notifications, which will save some battery life, show previews. Um, all of these different things can help you save some battery life if you're not getting every single notification from every single app. So if you're not seeing the best battery life on your device, I highly recommend going through each of your applications seeing which one of these you need, uh, how many notifications you need, you know, which different notification groups that you need, uh, and then turning those off if you don't need them, because obviously the more notifications you receive, then the battery life is going to go down. The more notifications come in, the battery life is gonna get worse and worse because the phone is waking up to display those notifications and to pull those notifications. All right, let's talk about Siri and active listening. If you go into your settings, go back to the main settings again, You'll find Siri under here. In fact, now you'll see it under Apple Intelligence and Siri. And one thing that you can do is when you go to talk and type to Siri, you can turn off this setting up here where it will not be listening for that wake phrase. Having the iPhone consistently listening for that Siri or Hey Siri wake phrase does drain additional battery life and it doesn't take away your ability to use Siri or Apple Intelligence entirely. You can still press your side button, press and hold, and type to talk to Siri. So you just don't get the wake up phrase, but it does save you an extra couple percent on that battery life throughout the day. Lastly, let's talk about turning on low power mode. So if we go back into the settings, find your battery itself. And when you go into the battery settings, you'll see if you scroll down power mode here and under power mode, you have adaptive power, adaptive power notifications and low power mode. Now, first of all, to extend your battery over time, you wanna have these adaptive power settings turned to on because that will extend the longevity of your, ba your battery over the life of the device. But then if you really get to a spot where you are running low on the day and you feel like you can't get to a charger, low power mode is kind of your lifeline. You can turn this on and if you turn this on, it will allow you to kind of get over that hump. It turns off certain features like 5G, iCloud syncing, mail fetch, some other things that may be critical but will allow you to extend your battery life for that particular day and then get back to a charger. So this is kind of more like a lifeline than an everyday thing that you can turn off to get better battery life on the average. And there you go, guys. There's five things plus one bonus for iOS 26 to extend your battery life. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been seeing decent battery life on the iPhone Air, still not where I'd like it by employing some of these tricks. Probably get to around six or 7.30 at night, uh, which is not as good as I get on the iPhone 17 Pro or my Galaxy S25 Ultra, but still with such a thin phone, it's not that bad either. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Please subscribe for more great content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.